whole game at a time, you know, especially with the capitalist. I just I just work hard, I just did. It takes out on a different floor. I get on the offensive board. I guess just in the eyes, this team as a whole, you're liking what you see out there. It seems like everybody has a chance to step up. Oh, yeah. Everybody's stepping up, especially with Alice Pax, the main person has been stepping up. And then we're adding Misty in and just going to keep working hard on every progression. Giving us an extra body, you know, it's going really great and everybody's just going really hard. And you and Asia are looking like you're in, you know, 100%, let's put it that way, both of you. Yeah, um, when we was in Asia and I were with the Olympic team, you know, um, a couple of weeks ago, you know, before we left, Cole said, well, when you go back to your teams, make sure you play as if, you know, you're Olympian and you belong on this team. You know, you separate, you separate yourself from others. And I believe that's what Asia and I have been doing this past two days. I know you've been dealing with injury and whatever. Um, no, no, that's all I told you. You know, I know I'm going to have eights and pains, but, you know, going throughout the season, you know, it's just all a mental thing, and, and I'm just playing through it. It seemed to get stronger as it went on. What did what happened in the second half that got you going? Um, just know my team needs me. Just knowing that, you know, it's, that, that the team is bigger than myself, you know, and, and just me just playing as a, as a teammate and just doing the things I needed to do. If you had to put, like, 90%, 100%, where are you as far as physically? Physically, right now, after the game, I'm probably, like, 80. <laughs> but um, mentally, I'm 100, and I'm just going out there and doing the things my team needs me to do. For Thanks, Tina. You at the point where when you have the ball in your hands, do you believe no one can stop you? Like, I mean, you're at that point in your career in terms of your confidence level. Yeah, my, my confidence level is there. You know, um, from my teammates and from the coaches, like, just them respecting me and just believing in me and what I can do. And just me putting myself in this position from the UConn days and just wanting all this. Yeah, I believe it's there. You know, you have, you have 47 double levels already in your career. Are you club record is 50. Mm-hmm. And it took Taj 241 games to do it. Uh, no, you're 70th. Game, so. um, you afraid you're going to spoil people with this kind of... <laughs> I didn't even know about that, but I'm just going out and, and, and doing my job and, and um, just going to keep, keep it going. Tina, when you, that second half that you played, you, you like opened it up and like had some fun instead of like, did, did, did that make it even easier, like not to get fouled and not just... Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Just going in there and just believing in my game and knowing what I can do and just taking it one possession at a time and not worrying about the last possession and being stuck on it mentally, just, just taking in every possession and going out there and doing a few little things. How debilitating was your injury? I mean, you can feel the was, was it very painful? Was it to the point where if you had to play, would you have been able to? Or? Oh yeah, I definitely would have been able to. It was just a matter of time. Just, just getting my, my, my body right for the more important things, you know, like the game and like practicing during the season and just mm-hmm. little things and taking in things, you know. I still had a voice out there in the training camp. I was able to talk to my teammates and they were able to talk to me and tell me about plays and different things. So, so it was fine. It was just a matter of me um, resting my body, and I gave thanks to the coaches after the Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina.